Google Stories for WordPress is a plugin to boost your website engagement. This short video will help you install, run, and optimize your CEO practices for stories on your own website. Web Stories are immersive, tappable, and easily shareable storytelling format. Web Stories are built using the AMP framework. You've probably seen them in WhatsApp status, Facebook, or Instagram stories, among other vendors. Installation Prerequisites own a WordPress website. SiteKit by Google installed on your WordPress. Google Analytics and Google Tags active for clicks and metrics. Images with metadata in your own gallery. Know how to CEO your site, posts, and links. All right, let's start. Go to your WordPress admin page, go to your plugins, click on Add New, type Google Stories in the search bar. Click on Install Now and then click Active. Now let's configure the Web Stories dashboard. Go to Stories, Settings, type the Google Analytics tracking ID. This is important as you want to have the metrics about who visits your story. To know where that number is, go to your Google Analytics. Click on All Website Data. Select your site's name and you'll see a number that starts with UA. Copy it. If you don't have it, you need to create a new property to track your web pages. Search how to set up Google Analytics for my website and complete the setup. Back in the Stories dashboard settings, paste a UA number. Click Save. Add a publisher logo. Mine is 350 by 350 pixels. Web Stories will resize it to the appropriate size. Now let's post a story. Click on Create a new story button. The editor will open. Here are your current website's gallery pictures. This icon brings you pictures, videos, and GIFs from the web. Use the search function to find your subject of interest. You also have short videos to use on your story. Type keywords to find what you need. Popular GIFs are also available to build your story. The T icon is for text. If you select T, you'll be taken into text templates. When you press the plus, an automatic non-formatted text will appear in your story. Select it and apply custom properties from the right side panel. You can select the color of your text as well as the opacity. This editor is full of good choices. Basic geometry forms can be quickly created using this icon. You can adjust opacity and layer order from the right side property panel using the Design tab. When you add an image element, all of the properties appear on the right side in the Design tab. If you click on the Document tab, the settings to identify this story in your website appear such as the cover image, excerpt, and the permalink to your story. Back in the Design tab, you can roll your mouse wheel to check out properties for your image position, layer opacity, borders, link, and layer order if you scroll down. This is impressive since the order of your design can be arranged, sent to the back, or top at most. It works just like Photoshop layer orders. You can provide the URL linking on your text to another page for a full article in your website or to another site. Stories are made of different pages in a sequence. Click on this icon to duplicate your current page or this plus icon to create a blank canvas for your new page. If you want to delete the page, just click on the bin icon. Below, you can identify the number of pages by the number of bars just like any other AMP story format like Instagram. At the topmost, you need to provide a title for your story. This is important for CEO purposes. To the right, your blue button will change from Draft to Publish once you enter your title. When you're done, click on Publish. Congratulations! Your story has been published and now people can visit it through their desktop or phones by going to your website.com dash webstories. Your story now has a permalink URL in the Document Property tab. Copy that and share it to your social networks to get views. You can also copy that URL and paste it inside any of your blog posts and you'll get a web story engagement for people to see. You can change this default web stories to another custom page in your site and pasting the self-canonical link there so that people will visit your story page. If you want the swipe up function, check out the technical guide in the video description. I also want to suggest to you best practice, which include add your web stories to your Google sitemap, include alt text on your images, 
use relevant titles. Use a short video first. 15 seconds of video are encouraged and 60 seconds could be the max. Less text, more images. Keep the title shorter than 90 characters. Provide high quality content linking external sites or relevant posts in your own site. Your portrait image should be at least 640 by 853 pixels and use an aspect ratio of 3 to 4. And lastly, tell your story and do the call to action. Web Stories from Google plugin is on beta, but we can already see this is the next big thing in your website. I hope this short guide will help you get started. Thank you very much.